I was in the middle of preparing my my outfits for next week for my my outfit of the day. It's a whole production, y'all. <laughs> Not only in my personal life do I always put my outfits together before I put them on, but I put them together because what I envision in my head, I want to make sure that it comes together. Um, I also put them on. I want to make sure that I don't have any wardrobe malfunctions and everything is cohesive. I was trying to figure out how to proportionally put it together and I was like, you know what, let me share this. Let's give you what's going on in my head because I know this will help someone. One. If I reach one person, that is big in my world. I've shared with you guys about dressing in thirds and how to proportionally dress for your body shape. And that's what I was doing with this particular outfit. And I was like, you know what? Let me share with you what I'm thinking. Okay. So I have what is called an apron belly. AKA FUPA, or I like to call my, my poonchie. So I'm about to be <laughs> very vulnerable with you guys right now, but this is me, okay? This is my poonchie. Now don't get it twisted, okay? This is the product of three beautiful children, stretch marks and all. So we love her, okay? And we work with her, not against her, all right? But we have a mind of her own sometimes, okay? And I've learned in my fashion and style career now to work with it, not against it. Because when you, when you work against it, sometimes all you do is bring more attention to it. So... I just recently got this denim skirt from Amazon, okay? What I love about it, number one, it is stretchy. So it is a stretchy denim, but I thought it was so cute. I don't have one in this length. This is called a midi length. It doesn't hit my ankles and it kind of hits me right at my calf, but it is a pencil skirt. Now, I love pencil skirts. It's where a pencil skirt can work against you. If it is a bodycon, if it is a fitted pencil skirt, it is going to show off everything. Now, there are some looser versions of a pencil skirt, but I like to show off my curves, okay? And what happens though with a fitted pencil skirt is because it fits you from waist down to the hem, it is going to draw attention to any and every part of your body, okay? We have always heard, if you want to kind of conceal your apron, your fupa, or whatever, an A-line skirt works best because it's fitted at the waist, and it kind of flares out as it goes down to the ankle. But I personally don't like A-line skirts. Correction, I don't like midi A-line skirts. I'll wear a maxi A-line skirt, but I don't like midi. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I love this skirt. It is a high waist, midi length denim skirt, and it has stretch in it. I love it, but when you look at me, you can see my apron right away. You can see it, okay? Now you might say, well, you can put a support garment on. Well, because this is fitted, I don't want anything else on up under here. And to be honest with you, when it comes to support garments, sometimes they don't tuck you in as much as you would want them to. They don't necessarily just take <laughs> whatever it is away that you're trying to conceal. Um, for me, I like wearing my undergarments just to bring me in. I don't like any jiggle in my wiggle, and I will always say that about my support garments. I'm going to show you two ways that you can trick the eye into not even focusing on this part of your body. Now, for the days you just want to put on something and go, there is absolutely nothing wrong with grabbing an oversized sweatshirt, sweater, whatever makes you feel good. The options I'm showing are when you do want to look like you put a little thought into your outfit. The first way is to get you a peplum top, something with a flirty bottom, something that is going to definitely take the eye off of that. It doesn't have to be this long it could be something just a tad bit shorter but peplum is the way to go when you are trying to hide your apron belly aka fupa or in my case 
coochie. This is definitely a way to go because it brings you in right here. It'll definitely give you the illusion of a waist. And because the hem is flirty, it's definitely taking your eye off of your belly. This is definitely one of the ways to conceal your fupa. Now, because we are in my favorite time of year, this is layering weather, and I love to layer. So because I know that I'm, I wanted to put on a third piece, I, I chose something that was a little bit more form-fitting, but look at the hem. So the hem of this is not necessarily, it's not a peplum, but because of this asymmetrical hem, the eye is drawn to it and not my fupa. It's still there. She ain't gone nowhere, okay? But again, because the eye is drawn to the hem, it takes the eye away from that. So here is the third piece. Now, this cardigan um, just brings it up a whole nother notch. For those of you who may be a little bit uncomfortable with having your derriere out, this is a beautiful option. And besides, you know, it's this fall weather, you really <laughs> you really can't determine it, you know. It may be cool in the morning and it may be hot as crap, you know, in the afternoon. So this is always an option. You can always take it off if need be. This right here is what I ultimately decided on and i am also following the rule of thirds the top portion hits me right at my waist even though the denim skirt is a midi i chose these neutral shoes that are almost the same color as me so there's no cut off from the bottom of my skirt to my feet and because my cardigan is longer than my skirt it doesn't show behind there so the proportions are beautiful i could have chosen to wear this either way but this is what i ultimately decided on remember we are not fighting behind our clothes anymore we are wearing our clothes our clothes are not wearing us <laughs>